Paul McGuire Grimes, A, B, C, Minneapolis, Joaquin. It is an absolute honor getting to talk to you today. Get I out really of town. I'm serious, so thank Come you for on. the time well, today. Thank you for being here. Yeah. I love the new angle that you took on this film. And one of the things I love about it is this, this idea of music therapy. And the, there's a line in the film, how we use music in this class to make us feel whole. Mm. How important was music to you growing up? Um, <clears throat> it was... Uh, it was uh, Important. I mean, my my um, my siblings and I sang from a from a very young age. We actually performed together, um, so it's such a big part of my my household. And we were always kind of singing, um, and then it's something that, quite honestly, in my adolescence and teen years, I I drifted away from and something I never considered. My siblings all carried on. My my sister's a pianist, and my sister has a has a band, has done solo records. Um, and so it was interesting to have music kind of brought back in. Uh, it had been a long time. And the last time I think I really sang was Walk the Line. Because I'm not, I don't even like sing in the shower. I'm not one of those people, you know what I mean? Like I don't drive and sing. So um, it, it was important. And, yeah. um, I love I love your family and how you talk about them. That's really special and beautiful. I want take me back. I love the fact that you are not on social media. You live a very private life. How did you know that your version of Arthur and Joker was really resonating with audiences? Um, uh, I don't. I don't. I mean, I, I imagine that uh, that I'm sure Todd texted and was like, "Bruh, <laughs> it's actually doing pretty well." I know he probably was like, "Listen, you're gonna be very disappointed to hear this, but it's a success." <laughs> and uh, it was something, you know. Uh, I I typically make uh, have been a part of smaller films. Um, they don't they're not always su successful financially, and um, and this obviously was you know a really big movie, and, and uh, I was surprised and delighted. I mean, you've been in very successful movies, like just a, you as the actor, like The Master wow. and Her are phenomenal movies. Describe Lady Gaga as a collaborator, because I can't imagine anyone else in this role besides her. No. Um, <clears throat> yeah, in some ways, it's interesting, like my, my idea of who, of who she was and who I was gonna be working with was uh, intimidating. Mm -hmm. um, and then, I remember uh, I went to dinner with her and Todd, and actually we met at her house, and she was just like, just cool and easy, and like talk about anything, and was it was felt like effortless the conversations that we were having about the character, and then Todd and I went to dinner, and I was like, should we should we ask her? And I thought like, oh, you're gonna have to like clear it through security and shit. <laughs> And uh, and he just called her and she answers like yeah he's like do you want to come meet us we're gonna go on a shoot have dinner she goes like, yeah and she's just in her car and next thing you know she's at the restaurant and then we just started talking about music um, and I was like okay well this is a great opportunity to because I don't really understand what goes into kind of recording a song um, and it was just uh, she has a way of. Um, explaining kind of the process and she talks about music and what it means to her in a way that is um, oh, it's really intimate and interesting and so immediately I think Todd and I both felt like okay this this is like right this is the match for Arthur and the way that she talked about th the character and how she wanted to communicate with him so it was um, we were very lucky to have her yeah, if you are having a bad day, what does Joaquin put on to make you happy? Um, I have kids now, I don't have bad days. <laughs> oh yeah. my God, Thank I got you. the rap. Thank you for the time today, I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Joaquin, I appreciate, appreciate it. it.